ain't a man that you've been looking for Hearts being darker than a devil's soul I ain't someone you bring to mama's house Do you believe? Yes, today I will introduce you to what I think would be the perfect daddy's day gift ever. At least for me it was. But I will have to leave a few things clear before we get deeper into the video so Jim doesn't complain in the comments. <laughs> this is something Miss Ninja bought with her own money. We don't have any association with this company, we don't know who they are, we did not get this thing for free, and we don't have any obligation to talk good or bad about it. This is a very honest review, as I always do. We got to the conclusion that YouTube is not recommending these videos to anybody, so please, if you like these videos, go down there and hit on the bell, and then you have to select the option that says all, so you will receive notifications when new videos come up. And with all that out of the way, we shall continue. Miss Ninja, after a lot of questioning and conspiracies with my daughter, finally got my Father's Day present. And even though we are far from it yet, I think this one is one of the best gifts I ever had. I mean, the flip-flops from last year were good. <laughs> and the belt from the year before that was great. Yes, they were. And the coffee mug from the year before that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got my present already and I'm more than excited to share it with you, so you guys know what to ask for. As the name implies, the Kettle Song cooking system was created for the Weber Kettle 22 inches, and it does fix the main complaint I always had about this grill. Link in the description. You know I love the Weber Kettle. But the cooking area is very limited if you are looking to smoke or even grill a lot of stuff at once. For sure, you can smoke an awesome brisket in the weather, but it will have to be an 8-12 pounder or it won't fit. And if we talk about pork ribs, you have an even bigger problem, because the maximum you can cook at once in the weather will be 3 racks of ribs, and that's using the little rack that comes with the weather. The thing is that no matter what you use to smoke your meat, it will normally take space within the grill, and that space will not be useful as it will be too hot to smoke anything on it. On the other hand, the Kamau style grill had always been a great grill. I don't own one, but not because they are bad, but because they are expensive and kind of costly to run. I cannot justify the expenses if I can do everything a Kamado grill can do on a Weber. And besides it being a clay grill that can hold a lot of heat, they are smaller in size, normally 18 inches across. Of course, I'm not talking about the oversized ones that are even more expensive than the normal Camaro. Oof. In any case, the only one thing that I always envy about the Camaros is the ability to use the entire surface of the grill to cook and not having to spread in two zones as we are forced to do with the Weber. That's how we got to our gadget today, the Kettle Song cooking system for the 22 inches Weber Kettle. This is nothing else but a grill grate with a deflector in the middle. Delicious! The deflectors are two ceramic half moon heat deflectors that will give us the ability of using the entire grill for smoking as it will keep the fire down there, allowing only the heat to come up or you can easily change the configuration of the grill, leaving only one half moon inside the grill and creating that way two different heat zones, one for cooking and another one for searing. I already have so many ideas. Now the process is very, very simple, let me show you. Here I have a blazer ball from Fogo Charco, something they gave me some time ago. But as I always use my chimney to light up my charcoal, I never used it before. The idea is to set the starters inside the blazer ball, place the blazer ball in the grill and set them on fire. And once it's lit, all you need to do is to add your charcoal and let it be. No more need to set your charcoal in the side of the grill and configure everything weird. All you need to do is to throw your charcoal in there and let it be. And all that peace of mind for the same price of a slow and sear. I mean, while the charcoal heat up, 
Let's check the kettle zone cooking system in more detail. These grates are as beefy as the steak we're cooking today. They are made out of stainless steel, and it can last as long as you want them to last. Heavier gauge rods means better heat retention and longevity. Let's add the kettle zone to the grill. It will sit right on top of the holders for the regular grates that comes with the Weber, and it fits on it nicely. One thing to take into consideration is that the kettle zone cooking system will raise the cooking area a bit, something I do appreciate. And with the grill ready, it is time to cook something. Just to demonstrate the power of extra space, I will be cooking my wife's favorite steak, a beautiful tomahawk steak I got from my favorite store, Brower Meat and Fish. As you might already know, I'm a usual client of this store, and they have become part of my routine every time I want to cook something good. Their meat is the best quality, and their prices are the best from South Florida. There is no other place or butcher shop in Miami that sells better meat for a lower price. These guys are the champs of South Florida. And if you thought different, you are wrong and you need to be punished. Now you have to go and write I love this video three times in the comments. <laughs> the marbling in these steaks is superb, as I selected from the bunch just because of its beauty. I will add salt, pepper, and garlic powders to this gorgeous thing and put it to cook on my new grates. But we are in Miami, and in Miami, if you want to upper your steak game, you add some seafood to it. And for that, I have these mutants here. These shrimps are also from Broward Meat and Fish, and as you can see, these babies are monsters. To season the shrimps, I will use my good friend's Neil Seraph Down Bayou Rub, which adds an amazing Cajun flavor to seafood. After it is all seasoned well, I will set the shrimps in a pan and add some butter so it can cook into that deliciousness we are creating. Set them in the grill and let it be. Once the steak gets to 120 degrees internal temperature, we will convert the entire grill into a searing machine. And for that, all we need is the following. I will remove one of the half moons from the kettle zone and set the griddle back right away. While the shrimps are cooking in the other half of the grill, I will be searing my steak to perfection. Direct heat will sear these size of steaks in about two minutes per side. But if you want a little bit more of that beautiful color, just leave it there for a little bit longer. Now we'll take the steak out and let it rest for 10 minutes before cutting. Within that time, we should have the trims ready too. And as you can see, we cook it all at once with no issues at all. found me when I was down I didn't know you were around Am I too big a deal? Am I what you're looking for? Can I be what you're looking for? Well guys, what do you think about this cooking we have here, man? I love it, but oh, Ninja, what do you think about your present? I love my present, the best present ever. I love it. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> I don't know. Sisters don't get no flip flops, no belts. That is not working on your benefit. <laughs> I don't know what happened this year, but this year was a good present for the Mr. Ninja here. Ooh. And Miss Ninja, this that is looks... not a test. I just wanted to show you guys how much space you gain with that little gadget, how good it is, how easy it is to cook with it. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't even know who these people is. We just got it on Amazon. The link is down Thank there. You, you can check it out. And I guess you will love it because we do love it too. If you want to give it a try. If not, we just keep doing what we do, man, which is it work. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Mesenia, let's give this a little try real quick. Let me let's have the knife over it, there. Please, like, oh my God, look at those shrimps. So, uh, mm, yum, 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 tomahawky. Right. 25% for Miss Ninja. Mm -hmm. 75. <laughs> because I'm a slow eater. It's because she's in a slow eater. It's Sorry, not guys. because I'm bad, all right? Sorry. Let's, let's go for it. Let's do it. My goodness. Raise mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day. Guys, I'm telling you this. 
Mm. If you are here mm. in South Florida, you have to check these guys out, man. Yep. The quality of the meat is amazing. Yep. And they, they beat everybody in prices. You have to check it out. Love you guys. Let's go for that. Oh my God, those the shrimp. These are mutants, man. This thing is huge. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Citric, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that Cajun flavor that the rock gives it, it's a little hot, it's a little spicy, but at the same yep. time, it's really good and tingling in your, in your tongue. It's amazing. I love it. It brings them up, actually. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Flavors are amazing. Thank you so much, Neil. You know, I, I'm also leaving Neil's uh, Rob link down there so you can check it out. Check it out. And guys, remember, please hit that bell and click on the all thing because now it's a new thing. I didn't even know YouTube was doing that. Now it's, you have a bunch of different options there and you have to select all in order for you to get notified when we upload the video. And there are no recommended videos to anybody. So that's why we do it. Now, let me ask you something, man. Is this delicious? Did we make you hungry? Did we? If we made you hungry, you had to hit us with the like. Lots of love to like. Subscribe to the channel, share with your yes, friends and family. So. And don't forget to leave your comments down there. What do you yeah, think good. about that gadget? It's, it's uh, when cheap butter was $99. It went up. And yeah. right now it's $125. Hello. It's a little bit more expensive than what she got it for. But I think it's worth it. I think it's good. I think it enhanced the whole cooking environment and we're going to be smoking on that thing too i want you guys to know that we're going to be smoking on that thing we're going to be trying everything so let me know down there what do you think about it do you ever try it do you see it before do, do you have any experience with something like that how do you like it just let me know down there in the comments that's all for today but remember that i love you mm, love you too thanks for watching and see you on tuesdays and fridays bye